You know, he called his brother a lunatic on the stand, actually. You know, but Q, are you finished? Go ahead. Yeah, no, I was just going to say uh, to Gunny, uh, when you speak about the law being in, in women's favor and them understanding that. So, like, where did you assess that with this particular woman in this situation? Um, just just based on her demeanor, uh, just like Alex, Alex alluded to it, so, you know, so like how she was just so nonchalant on the stand. And, you know, of course, I can't give you any definitive answer why she did that. But I can only assume that she did that because she just assumed that because she was a woman that she'd be able to just spout out nonsense and people were just going to believe her. I mean, the, the questions were so direct and her answers were so absurd. That's how I came to that conclusion. Yeah, see, that's the part where I, I think that that's giving her almost too much credit. Like, it's almost like she, what she did was, no, do you think that that's normal behavior of most women then? Because I think she's a sick bitch. I think something's wrong with her. And to that I point, do. I think I, no. um, narcissistic narcissistic uh, behavior disorder does not get diagnosed, diagnosed from what I understand, because the narcissist themselves has to see themselves in that light in order to even get treated for it. So yes, it's not I, I, don't, I don't think that that's most women. No, I, I don't. I, and I do believe that she is sick. She is. But as far as just the general public, there's a general knowledge. Let's say, for instance, you have a domestic violence issue or whatever in your house and the woman calls the police. The woman pretty much assumes that the guy if he's there, then he's going to be the one that's looked at by the police. And, that, and that's just general knowledge across all races. So based on the culture that we live in, it's just, it's just common knowledge that people are going to believe women over men. That's the society that we live in. And and, th and that's what I saw on the stand based on her behavior. But yeah, she's, she's definitely a sick person. She's not she's not like normal women, no. Absolutely not. And I'm basing mm. that on the, the level of her lying. Not like, to your point, yeah. Is it norm normal for a woman to think that if they call the cops, the law is going to be on their side? But it's the mm. line. And the way that she did it for me, that that is what I'm looking at. Well, I, I, I agree with you. I, I agree with you. But I, th I think that we're kind of saying the same thing. I just think all those things are, you know, all those things are part of it. Well, I think Gunny is being a little nice. I think women do have unrealistic expectation about shit being unfair in their favor because men haven't been taught to protect themselves against women. It's OK for a girl to hit you. You can't hit her back. She can yell in your face and do all this, that, and the third, and you got to take it. Yeah, I mean, the Me Too movement and Believe All Women, those are real. So I don't know. I think there is some type of subtle expectation, and I think it might be an underlying current in all women. And we all know that, and no one on this panel and no one watching this show can deny it. That's an absolute fact. No one can deny that. That's that's Gunny. the truth. We, we, okay, so Gunny, should I stop being nice? You stop being nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the truth, though. That's that's the that's the world that we live in. Believe yeah. all women, regardless. What you think? Yeah, I, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Q, go ahead. No, I was gonna say I think there are some changes being made, right? Like there are some women who are understanding now that. If you do too much, you might get washed by a nigga, and that's between you and him. I don't think everybody's ready to jump in that shit, and not everybody sees it. Like, like I think there was a time where, like, yeah, that whole girl power shit and all that, but now it's like you really see people doing too fucking much, and I think what created that move was a lot of women in our generation becoming boy moms, where it's like you, you displace yourself, and you're like, oh, that was my son, and you was acting like that. Hmm. that might be do you fair. think we're there now? Mm -hmm. Or we move. We're, we're moving towards that point. No, I think we're there now. Mm -hmm. I think delusional bitches that have that narcissism shit in them, and then I think that there's women who understand. You put your hands on this man. You're doing too fucking much. If he slap you, that's on you. Mm. Yeah, and, and I would disagree with that. I, I would say that in our current society, men are guilty until proven innocent, and women are innocent until proven guilty. So. Isha, you want to get in on this? Um, <laughs> Isha hit niggas. What you talking about? <laughs> no, I know. I know. I believe that, you know, if a woman hits a man, he got the right to hit her back. I do believe that. Um, 
But in this case, I think that this woman needs to be charged for the death of that person because she's the one who set it all in motion. Um, I also think that even with him shooting after them until they drove away, that was needed because now they know where he lives at. Now it, they make it unsafe for him to go home every night, not knowing if they're going to come back and retaliate. So mm -hmm. I think what he did was justified. And I think that she needs, there needs to be charges pressed against her. Someone in the comments said that the dude, the, the, the dude who was killed was shot through the windshield. So that's led to believe that they could have been coming at him. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Maybe, but he was dumping that thing, though. Like he was letting them niggas have it, man. But yeah, I think I think she should receive a conspiracy charge for murder or assault or something. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's, yeah. What's that you, Mr. White? You wanna get in on this? Yeah, I, I agree, man. I agree with what Isha was saying. I think in a situation like that, even if they leaving, you, your adrenaline is still going, right? And like I was saying, like that's his mom crib. So you know how yeah. most of us feel about our feel about our moms. Like we we gotta eliminate the threat, you know. Period. Um, I definitely agree. I'm not even big on everybody being sick and mental health diagnosis, diagnosis or not your ass need to go to jail you need to deal with those consequences that's why it's a good thing we do have laws and things like that and they do need to be applied um across the board and then just in terms of women i really think that because they're not raised to be accountable in some situations they don't even think that far ahead especially when they're angry right so she's like oh she's mad yo go shoot this nigga shit up she's not thinking okay I'm, I'm i'm putting my brother in danger now you know what i'm saying to him possibly getting killed or possibly being arrested or you know going to prison all of these consequences for him she can't even see outside of her feelings and i think a lot of that is because of the way that we are raised and how typically they don't experience consequences they are so you know protected um i agree with q slightly i feel like it is getting better but i don't think we are like nowhere near close mm, yeah i think you see it with the you ever see some of the gym influencers like men don't be helping them like one lady the the um, barbell fell on her chest one fucking was not going over there to take the shit off her. like you know what i mean because ain't no telling what happens when you go over there you know what I'm you know real shit. like you know i ain't gonna i'm gonna hold i ain't gonna hold you like i saw this clip where an old white guy he fell in the middle of the street it's raining and all that he fell off his cane and shit. but i don't know if i would go out there i'd probably like call the police <laughs> if i if i go out there i'm standing over this old white man and the police pull up right he he slipped he don't know why he slipped he come to it's a it's a big black dude standing over him. Oh, he pushed me down. Hell nah. Uh-uh. I'm calling the police, bro. It ain't worth it. I mean, they probably give you some slack if you got that merce on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hate I hate the fact that I set trends, man. You know, somebody had to do it. Damn, man. Interesting, interesting. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. I just wanted to hit that because I wanted to make sure we was all on the same page about the, how disgusting that was. How she was on the stand, how she did not give a shit. I think Q is 100% correct in the fact that she's a narcissist, but I don't think it's a disorder. I think it's her and how she was raised. And she think her shit don't stink and she needs somebody to push her shit back like that. I mean, I ain't gonna go too far with it, but you catch my drift.